What you don't realize is metaphysically, when you play with this, you play with forces that a lot of people, just because they don't see it, they don't believe it. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to tell you, it's all the things that you don't see that tend to have the most control over you. Mm -hmm. And that's what people have to be careful with. Because if you mess with things that you don't see or understand, but you want it to transfer, transfer or materialize into something in this, in this world, is always a cost. And if we're going to go through this, I have to help all of you understand. If you ever abuse or misuse this, the consequences are very, very great. Today we have a very special topic to talk about. So special that we have the whiteboard. <laughs> yeah. Today we want to talk about feng shui. Mm -hmm. Herman, am I pronouncing it right? In Mandarin, yes. So what do you understand about it? I had no concept of it and I still only know just a little bit, but what I do know is that I had to make a lot of changes to certain things in my house certain areas of the house, placements of things, how I do things. And from my understanding, it's about the way the energy moves. Mm -hmm. And the whole goal is to create the least amount of resistance or obstacles so mm -hmm. that you can have the most fortunate outcomes. That's a very good generalization. And one thing a lot of people don't understand is they only want to use this for material gain, which means they only want to have the best partner, the, the most money, or like to show off the most, or like, you know, the kids to be the, like, the most popular, like they only want things for materialistic gain. And this is not meant for that. This is meant to take care of you, to protect you so that those that you love most can be cared for. It doesn't mean that you use this for materialistic gain, because if you do that, and if you use this for the wrong reasons, it will be a very, very hefty price to pay when it's due when the rent mm -hmm. is due, when payment is due. Mm -hmm. And I see so many people use this for the wrong reasons. So what's the right reason? So the right reason is when people from the very beginning, when this was developed, it was from the emperor. Okay. So the emperor was the only person that this was allowed to be used for because it was very sacred knowledge. A lot of people were hired as decoys so that they would never know what the real knowledge is. And then the emperor would use that knowledge to help govern the people or to help govern the kingdom so that it could have the most amount of prosperity for its people and its kingdom. Problem is greed started to set in. Mm -hmm. Then they're like, you know what? This is so powerful. I want more. You know what? If, if I can get this, that means I can get that. Mm -hmm. And they started using this for a very, very illicit means and wrong means. And that's why we have to be very careful when I help people with this. I have to make sure, number one, their heart's pure. Number two, they, eat, they have a good understanding of who they are. And number three, that if we were to help with this, that someone understands there's a certain responsibility that we have to carry forth. A lot of people hire a consultant and the consultant does all these calculations and then the person does nothing other than buy this, do that, buy this, do that. Mm -hmm. But they didn't change anything. Mm -hmm. And if you don't change anything, doesn't that mean you're always going to get the same outcome? Right. And that's what I mean. A lot of people use this to wrong others. They make things sound so fancy so that they can hide behind this and then say, you know what? I can help you, but I need $10,000 for an hour. I can help you, but I need this. I can help you. And then they're using this for wrong means to help you. And then you're using it for wrong means. So that's how you match the people to get the wrong people to do this for you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It makes sense. And so that's why we have to be very careful when we go in to go through this and we're going to go through this with you. We're going to give a very simple, general, basic idea of it. But just understand that if you don't change, nothing will change. Is that clear? That's a good baseline. Right? Okay. So I'm going to give you some examples. And in these examples, these are some examples that people have used this for the wrongdoing. 
And then I'll tell you some of the repercussions because people need to understand that this is very special. This is not something that you take lightly. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's do it. Okay. There's a gentleman I knew and he owned a restaurant and wanted to have the biggest, best, most popular restaurant, most profitable restaurant in the history of mankind. So he hired a consultant. That consultant says, you know what? I can do it for you, but I need this. I need that. I want this. I want that. So every demand that that consultant made, he basically had to fulfill. And it was some lavish, exorbitant amount of requests. Mm -hmm. Okay. So use your imagination. Okay. So one of the things he mentioned for the guy to do is you have to go and hurt your wife. He's like, what do you mean hurt my wife? He's like, well, you're going to have to have two wife. He's like, why do I need two wife? He's like, because you're going to live one life when you're at the business and one life when you go home. So that's what he did by a bad consultant. See what people don't realize is this is so metaphysical. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, what do you think happened to the wife? The original one. She probably left if she found out. She got sick. Mm. Because basically he was using all of his fortune and goodness to transfer for something else. Right. And that meant that he wanted more money, wanted more fame, wanted more, 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 right? Mm -hmm. And so because of that, they would do certain rituals in the basement that was basically like black magic, using this as their disguise. This is metaphysical. This has the ability to change things from one, from one type, one form to another. You can call this cooking also. Mm -hmm. You can call this personal development. You can call this business. You can call it all that, but they hide behind the disguise of this because most people don't have a basic understanding of it. And so because people use it for the wrong, could that person ever do good after doing so wrong to their own family? It would be very difficult for them to change the pattern, especially mm. when they, I don't know, if they're making more money, maybe it's coming at the cost of their wife getting sick. Mm -hmm. And maybe they start to change as a person and get greedier and want the more money and don't really care about yes. other things. Wife got sick, then the child got sick. Then all of a sudden the child was diagnosed with mental illness, schizophrenia. What you don't realize is metaphysically, when you play with this, you play with forces that a lot of people, just because they don't see it, they don't believe it. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to tell you, it's all the things that you don't see that tend to have the most control over you. Mm -hmm. And that's what people have to be careful with. Because if you mess with things that you don't see or understand, but you want it to transfer, transfer or materialize into something in this, in this world, there's always a cost. And if we're going to go through this, I have to help all of you understand. If you ever abuse or misuse this, the consequences are very, very great. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? I understand. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Because <laughs> this is not to be messed or trifled with. This has to be cared with the utmost care. And when we say that, a lot of people just think, oh, I buy this, put this in the house, I'm going to get a million dollars doesn't work that way even if you get the million dollars look at what happens to the health look at what happens to the happiness look at what happens to those around you look at what cost is going to happen and it doesn't mean the cost is going to be paid right now because like you've said in the past everything has a cost everything does it just means sometimes it's not due right away mm -hmm. sometimes it may do in five years three years two years but then when it's time to pay you don't remember the things you did wrong the things that you were taken for, right? Mm -hmm. People never, people have a funny memory like that. They never want to remember things that are unfavorable, but they only remember the things that are favorable. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Okay. So let's go into this. So if we're going to go into this, we have to understand that we're not going to use this for the wrong, but if we're going to use this for the good now, we have to understand this means wind, feng, wind, shui or soy is water. Do you know why this is so important? Wind and water? Why didn't they put fire and water? Or why didn't they put wood and water? Why did they put wind and water? Is it because they're both connected? Because 
the wind can alter the water. Continue. <laughs> so perhaps like I'm, I'm thinking perhaps that they're related mm -hmm. into one of another, into one another, mm -hmm. or perhaps they are the two things that we need possibly the most. So if you don't have any oxygen and you don't have any hydration, can you survive? No. So this is basically survival. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Do you understand? This is survival. A lot of people, they waste their breath every day, every night, gossiping, bad talking, criticizing, judging, all the breath escape, right? Mm -hmm. Hydration, they barely drink water. They drink coffee, juice, cola, soda, everything but water. Anything but water. Right? Boring, right? <laughs> so what happens when they don't have enough sufficient oxygen and sufficient hydration? What happens to them? They're very unhealthy. Very sick. And so when you look at someone who has a lot of illness and disease, their wind and their water has been trifled with, messed with. It's imbalanced, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so this is always based off the duality. So if some people recognize that, the duality, what people don't understand is when one gives rise to two. So if one starts as the beginning, gives rise to two, two gives rise to three, right? And then three gives rise to 10,000. That's the verse, that's the proverb. That means when you have one, you know where your starting point is. You learn the duality between what it is you are, what it is you are not. When it gives rise to three, it means that's when you have your mind, your body, and your soul that learns how to harmonize and change in accordance to the season based off of where the wind and the water flows. And then when that happens, it equals 10,000. In Chinese, we say man, because that's considered the ultimate. That's, mm -hmm. that's what they would use as the word for ultimate. Mm -hmm. So when you say one gives rise to two, two gives rise to three, three gives rise to 10,000, you have to understand. A lot of people want to get here like that. Yeah. I'm going to ask you, the tree that you planted today, can you bear fruit the very same day? No, never. The tree you planted today, can you go and take it to the paper mill right away? That's just a seed? No. But yet everybody wants this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to share something with you. You see this? When we say one gives rise to two, two gives rise to three, three gives rise to 10,000. So picture energy is always in motion. Okay? Energy will always be in motion. And so for those of us that are Asian, we understand in the long history, this is how Shui came about because they wanted to draw like the river, wanted to draw how water moves. I'm going to share this with you and everyone here. Can you see wind? Have you ever seen when it's very windy outside? Can you see wind? Not exactly. Mm -hmm. You can feel it and you can see like the leaves blowing or the, mm -hmm. the byproduct of mm -hmm. the wind's effect, but you can't actually really see it. But you feel it? Yes. Okay, so we do feeling. You can see water, right? Correct. Do you believe you always see water? No. So I will ask you this. Do you know when it's going to rain, snow? Or do you have to look at the weather network to see that? M majority of people have to look at the weather network. Me too. But sometimes you kind of have like a feeling that it's going to come. Okay. So all around us, there's trees. All connected into the soil. Right? Mm -hmm. How do they know? How do all the animals know when it's going to rain and snow? hurricane, typhoon, how do they know? Because they're more connected. Because they've learned how to harness this and this so that they could tap in to the one, what we call source, right? Mm -hmm. 
So then the one gives rise to two. So then they learn, okay, if well, I'm here and something imbalance is coming my way, I need to move. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I'll be swallowed up by the 10,000 things. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yes. So energy is always moving and it never lies. And I want you to understand that when we're going to go through this, as much as I want to help you understand the physical materialistic side, it can never be truly understood until you understand the internal side. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So internally, a lot of people have this all messed up. Their so-called feng shui is like this. Broken. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And then when it becomes broken, then all of a sudden they go off on different paths rather from the original. Just like the tree. If this was the tree, right? Right? Everybody supposed to come from the original. But you know what? I think I know better. You know what? I feel I'm better. You know what? I like, I like these people better. You know what? I listen to this. You know what? This is better. You know what? No. You know what? No. And it's like they always feel they know better and they're no longer connected. One gives rise to two. So then all of a sudden, they see the other side. They know where they are. We have perfect balance, but then they feel, you know what? I think I just need this. I don't need that. I think I need this, but I don't need that. And they use it out of convenience and they don't obey the natural laws of the heavens and nature. And if you go against the natural laws and you want to abuse it, take it for granted, then we have what we have right now as a planet in a flux. Mm-hmm. Right? People say, you know what? Yeah, this is cheap palm oil. Yeah. We don't need this tree. Right? We don't need this. We don't need that. And all of a sudden, we just need profit. Right. But without this, how do you have that? How do you have oxygen? You can't. Hmm. Without this, how do we have the food? You don't have any food unless it's being made by man. Ah, it's called processed, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. If you don't have the water to make more of this, then the cycle is already broken and then you're going off in every different direction. And instead of being from one to two, you're going from two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because you're creating your own now, you're no longer aligned. Mm-hmm. Because you went against your natural, nat- I would say, existence. And for a lot of us, we call that society. Well, they're they're doing this, we can do that. They're doing this, I'll do that. But we should be saying, you know what? No, I want to use this, but to help my loved ones. I want to use this to make sure that I'm healthy enough to take care of my loved ones. I want to use this to make sure that I'm healthy enough to teach others so that when they have their grandchildren or great-great-grandchildren, that they will never lose this knowledge so that they can also care and live longer and help more people, mm-hmm. help the planet. But you see, because we've lost focus on the natural laws and obey those natural laws, a lot of the times, all of these different things don't matter anymore. And because of that, ego, mm-hmm. selfishness. Oh, we don't need that. Yeah, that's my bonus. Mm-hmm. You know what? We don't need that. Yeah, that's great for shareholder. Mm-hmm. You know what? We don't need this anymore. You know, someone else will fix it. Get someone else to fix it. Mm-hmm. That's always the excuse. You know, we have to be accountable for every single thing we do. And when I help people with this, you have to understand who the person is. Because certain changes that work for someone else may not work for this person. Mm-hmm. Vice versa. Because that person has a different set of when they were born, right? Right? Not everyone is born on the exact same day, the exact same time, the exact same year, exact same sign, right? So like, let's say if you take into your birth, right? Then the year, right? Then the sign, right? Then you have to take a lineage. Right, then you have to look at location. 
right, as a start. And then once we get this type of information, then we're able to say, you know what, maybe you make this change, maybe you make that change. Mm -hmm. But here's the problem. The reason why I don't do a lot of this for a lot of people is because their hearts are so tainted. They only want this because they think this equals more of this. That's mm -hmm. all they think about. And I will promise you that when they changed this, a lot of times people don't even realize what they're sacrificing. Because they can't see it. Just because they can't see it and they're ignorant to it. Mm -hmm. And Tesla had the greatest quote. He says, if we studied 10 years of the things that are unseen, we would far succeed or exceed anything that we study in 20, 50 years that we can see. Mm -hmm. hmm. And so if we understand that this is almost like where we're able to change and make changes, well, birth, we can't change the time we were born, right? Mm -hmm can't change the year you were born. You can't change the sign that you were born under. You can't change the lineage. And so they think, well, you know what? We can change the location or change what's in the location. So we'll, we'll focus only on that and we'll sell you that. Mm -hmm. But what you don't realize is sometimes this cannot be changed because you're located in this. Mm -hmm. Can you take your, your likes, dislikes, mind, body, and your soul from right here? and transfer it to a different host that you know of? No. And for a lot of people, when they're in this, they think that they can. They think they're going to live forever. They think they're going to eat whatever they want, do whatever they want, and then it affects this. And when it affects that, it makes it very difficult sometimes to get your health back, to get family back, loved ones back, moments back. Mm -hmm. And that's why when we look at a lot of mental illness is on a rise, it's because a lot of people cannot even remember all the precious moments they enjoyed in life because they went against the natural law of how energy works. Wow. And so isn't it a great disappointment that you go through your whole life thinking that this was the priority? So you accumulate as much of that and then let's say you reach 60 and you can't even remember your wife's name, your name, your child's name. You can't even remember that vacation you took. Can't even remember that deal you made. Can't even remember all the fun times you had with loved ones. It's a shame. And that's why when we talk about feng shui, we talk about to ensure that remember I said one gives rise to two. Mm -hmm. So let's say we have one gives rise to two, two give rise to three. And a lot of people think, oh, that's a snowman. <laughs> but that's actually, one part is the mind, one gives rise to two, body, soul. So when we come into this world, we're right here. We don't necessarily know much of, a, of our body. It's, we're tiny, we're small, mm -hmm. so it hasn't fully grown into it yet, right? Mm -hmm. Mind hasn't fully developed, can't speak, can't process math equations yet, can't process all those things yet, cannot do a lot with their mind yet because they're, they're, they want to absorb as much information as possible. So what happens is when we're born, this is all we use. It's just the soul. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so pure. That's why when you see a brand new baby, so innocent and pure, we call it perfection. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden the body starts to grow really quickly. Then all of a sudden it develops to learn how to speak back to you and negotiate, <laughs> right? Yep. But then what happens is once they, once they ascend this, they no longer feel the need to go back to where they came from. Mm -hmm. So let's say they, this goes to here, and then this goes to here. But once they hit this, a lot of people are stuck. And this has been separated. Mm -hmm. 
and a lot of people don't realize that's why sickness and disease is so rampant because this is not fully understood this hasn't been protected this hasn't been given a blueprint or a guidance so then when you grow up you just do what everybody else does and if everybody else is over here and they think logic is the only thing you need well a lot of times how many people only live off of logic too many but yet don't have the results to show any form of happiness a lot of people who only base off of logic will never find what they're looking for because it's illogical that you should be here because you're a miracle it's mm -hmm. illogical that a bird can fly because that's a miracle it's illogical that we can go from here to somewhere else in a matter of hours on a plane that's illogical mm -hmm. right in the long long old days when planes didn't exist no nope, that's not logic that cannot exist right make sense mm -hmm. so we just haven't fully opened the spectrum and the scope of this to understand now we have to go back to learn to cope and understand this body that we have been given cherish and protect that and then go back to the soul that allows us to feed and connect all three so we get back to the ten thousand, which is what everything else is connected to mm -hmm. questions for me i think one of the biggest things is that i always thought of this to be external mm -hmm. but now i'm understanding that it needs to be internal first and if anybody who does this for you and doesn't understand the internal, I can promise you from my experience, they may not have your best interest at heart. Mm -hmm. They may think they know everything about this. They may think because they studied or followed some master, 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 everyone's a master nowadays. Mm -hmm. Because they followed that, they think they know everything. And what you don't realize is if you cannot see what the person has and where they're lacking or where they're disrupted in this internally, then how can we ever get better results externally? Because it's internal that we have our self-talk. It's the internal that we have the doubt or the belief. It's the internal that we have to overcome before we're able to do something externally known as action. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right? And so we have to make sure that if we're going to go through this and understand this to a greater level you have to learn to stop only focusing on the materialistic side of things and really learn to harness the gifts that you were given figure out where you stand where you are all the things that you're made up of get comfortable in your own skin mm -hmm. so that we can then create a blueprint as to how to use this to coordinate with that and then when this is coordinated and you have as much value and you understand the real value of what you are, the real value of what you bring to this world, the real value of what the world actually needs, then you can get that. Mm -hmm. That is the byproduct. But if you want none of this and only this, there will be a huge price to pay. And most people cannot pay that. Because mm -hmm. I can't see it yet. And it hurts. I've seen so many people sacrifice everything just for that. And when it's time to pay up, they cannot pay. It hurts. Mm -hmm. And when it hurts so great, they forget about care. They forget about love, compassion, goodness, helping others. They forget all about that because that's inconvenient. Because mm -hmm. they don't have that, so they can't live conveniently. Right. And so what you have to understand is when you have your health, utilize it so to do the things that you are in control of mm -hmm. while you have the time. It's when you don't have the health and this mind and body are not connected and time is slipping away. It makes it very difficult for us to accept the terms of payback, to accept the terms of when payment is due. Mm -hmm. Because then we're basically making the decision off of something we were forced to as opposed to when we are in control we're able to make a much smarter decision and do something about it while time is on our side mm -hmm. so that's the basic of it that's just the basic this as basic as i could make it <laughs> yeah yeah as basic as i can make it because so many people only want to go into well the star is over here this is what that means this is what that means oh you shouldn't do this no understand this first 
and then you see how those other things affect you. Exactly. And I think the first step for everybody is the first step I took, mm -hmm. which was to get connected with you, mm -hmm. to understand myself better. Understand this part. Mm -hmm. So you can get this part. And then this part will come without any effort. Because mm -hmm. then you raised all, your, all of your internal value. Exactly. And think of it like a company or as a business, right? Okay, so this is what we, we have, right? These are the assets. We want to increase assets, reduce liability. But everybody doesn't understand. They think, you know what? Holiday season, hmm. New phone, want that. New, new TV, want that. Great deal. New earbuds, want that. Want this, want that. And then this whittles down to nothing. And you think that that's increasing your internal value. And then at the end of the day, you have no capital to invest when the market crashes. And when the market goes down, if you had that, if you had that amount, you could have bought real estate, you could have bought into a company, you could have bought a stake into something mm -hmm. when it was low. And then when it, the market goes up, that's where wealth is made. Mm -hmm. Right? But mm -hmm. you got to increase your internal value. Definitely. Well, I know where I need to increase mine. And if you want to find out where you can increase your internal value, you know how to get in contact with us. Mm -hmm. And if you want more of this and you want to know how to take that to the next level, maybe let them know where to be on December 14th and 15th. Have to be in Los Angeles and conquer your mind because that's the event that we have coming up. And we want you to experience this in person. Thank you. Thank you.